What's up, my co-pilot cohorts? It's April here, and I'm back with you with another episode of Copilot Chronicles. Today, we're steering our ship into the ethical realm of AI co-pilots and large language models. Ready to set sail? As we've all seen, AI co-pilots and these large language models can be super powerful. And you know what they say, with great power comes great responsibility. So let's break down some of the key pillars of leveraging these large language models and co-pilots responsibly. First up, bias and fairness. These large language models that co-pilots use are trained on vast amounts of data. But if that data has biases, so will the AI. So being aware of these potential biases and carefully analyzing the outputs is key. That's why when we're using some of these co-pilots, you'll notice that there's mechanisms in place to help with bias and fairness. The key here is to always have a human in the loop. Take Power Automate Copilot, for example. If you created a flow with Power Automate Copilot, you'll notice that you'll get a message for any AI generated content to have an approval step to keep a human in the loop to verify the output. Another big one is data privacy. When you ask Copilot something, where does the data go? It's key to know and ensure that your sensitive data is protected when using Copilot. In terms of the Microsoft Copilots with Power Platform, Microsoft 365 Copilot, Windows Copilot, those run in the Azure ecosystem with Azure OpenAI. That's a really big benefit when leveraging the Microsoft Copilots. All the information contained within your prompts, the data that they retrieve, and the generated responses remain in the boundary of the Microsoft ecosystem. It never goes out to OpenAI's public service and it stays within the boundary of Azure's OpenAI service. So all the data privacy, security, and compliance that you have as part of your Microsoft 365 tenant and environment applies to your use of Copilot. The next big piece of using this responsibly is to trust but verify. This ties in a bit to the bias point that I made earlier. It can be really tempting to just blindly trust the AI generated suggestions, especially when it seems so smart. But remember to always double check the responses, especially in business critical use cases. You will undoubtedly run into cases where some of the data returned is maybe inaccurate, maybe has a cognitive bias, or maybe even discriminatory. So make sure when you're using it to produce code, create content, to double check and verify the sources. And the final point is responsible use. Just because AI can generate something doesn't mean it should. And the biggest thing here is if you are using AI to generate content, especially in public domains, make sure that it's clearly obvious that AI was used to generate that data. So if you're leveraging AI Builder in the Create Text with GPT action to automatically reply to emails, make sure it's noted in the email that this response was generated by AI. Same thing if you're putting AI generated content on your public website. Because at the end of the day, what you'll see is although we have these co-pilots to help us, we're still captains of the ship. It's up to us to navigate this responsibly and make sure that these co-pilots benefit us without causing unintentional harm. We can educate, be aware, and advocate for transparency. And the platforms hosting these co-pilots should be transparent about how their models work, the data privacy, and potential pitfalls. A big thing that we can do as well is to give feedback on the AI-generated responses from co-pilot. In the Power Platform specifically, when you leverage Copilot, for each response, you'll see a thumbs up and a thumbs down button. So that's good not only to give feedback if a response is as expected, hit that thumbs up and give that feedback to the team, but also if it's not as expected. If you see bias or fairness issues or just incorrect information, you can hit a thumbs down and give more details about what the result was and what you expected it to be. This will help improve these models going forward. If you've encountered any ethical dilemmas when using AI or have some tips and tricks for best use, drop them in the comments so I can hear them. If you enjoyed today's episode, hit the like button to show it some love and make sure to subscribe for more episodes of the Copilot Chronicles. Until next time, remember, in this vast ocean of AI and co-pilots, make sure you steer with knowledge and conscience. See you next time. <laughs>